Hey guys, this is Tony, and welcome to Let's Play Minecraft Season 2 Part 46. Um, so as you guys can see, uh, winter has come. Uh, I basically did a bunch of branch mining off screen. Uh, and after branch mining I went into the nether and I did some work in the nether opening that area up even more, which I'll show in a bit. Um, but I haven't actually looked at the town this whole time because I have like it's been like two or three days. I have no idea what progress the town has made. I made sure never to look at the window. Like I would like walk up to the workbench like this so I wouldn't get to see it. And I would make sure never to look that way. And even when I came out of the mine, I made sure to always like face towards the house. So when I look around and see what progress the town has made, it'll be like the same reaction you guys will have. And it, oh. Okay, well, there's no big changes. Uh, oh, wait, what's that in the back? There's another house back there now. I, I kind of expected to turn around and be like, oh, it's been like two or three days, and now the entire town has changed, and there's a whole bunch more houses, but no. But it looks like there is one or two more. Uh, nothing major, though. Except that one in the back, but I can't. And maybe it's a lumberjack house in the back there, behind the well and the forge here. It's hard to tell. For oh, it might be a farm. No, not with that structure there. Oh, is this a? Oh, I think this is a sheep, and what is it? A sheep and chicken farm. I think I'll have to check the wor the town map. I was gonna say world map, but it's technically the town map. I'm pretty sure, and see exactly what the structure is. Uh, but yeah, I did a lot of work branch mining. Uh, I'll show some of the materials I got from that. Uh, they need wool right now for. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the sheep and chicken farm. And they're making another something. Okay. Okay, so not not a huge amount. Oh, that that is some progress though. I didn't notice that at first. This is now made of stone instead of cobblestone. That's yet another upgrade. Well, they're making progress for sure. So yeah, branch mining, I'm not going to show that, it's just a bunch of branches that I've done and I found a bit more diamond, I think I'm up to 9, so I think I found 6 pieces, I found 4 natural, like actual diamond ore, and then I think I found 2 from random ore, uh, and then I found a lot of iron, I left the door open again, always leaving this door open, need to cut down that tree, uh, right, so I found a lot of iron, I think I had 11 before and I also found some more gold. I'm up to 18 gold. I uh, used up this diamond pick when I was mining because I found 9 diamonds so I can always replace it. Uh, one thing people have been asking for is a diamond bow but you know what I actually I don't know how to make one. Oh and I also found uh, 5 of these. I found 1 and then a pocket of 4 and so that made up 5. So I don't know what I can use that for because at some point I lost the book, uh, the recipe book. I think probably when I fought, fell to my death in the lava in the nether and I found a heart container. When I was digging around the nether I found five cooked pork and a heart container in a chest. I'll show that chest. I didn't move it. It looks a lot different from when I originally found it. So I'm going to toss that down. Ta da! Oh, do I? Oh, I right clicked to activate it. I thought I had to pick it up, but I'm thinking of like a venture craft. Okay, uh, so, oh, an arrow. What was I going to do out here? Oh, reeds, right. I was going to come back here and gather some of these reeds that I have been ignoring for a while now. I just haven't got around to going and getting them. Uh, how am I going to get down from here? Like this, maybe? Okay, and get some of these reeds, and hopefully this will be enough to make another recipe book. So that I can figure out what I can do with that uh, green ore. So I'm going to head back up to the house now. Also, uh, I haven't done any work on the ship. But that's the, what I do want to do in this part. Is actually work on the, the nether ship. I have 
a couple ideas. I had a lot of good suggestions. People said make it all out of glass. I had forgotten that ghasts can't see through glass, but they will blow it up if they shoot at it. So I do have an idea though for that. Uh, right, so paper. I'm going to need to turn this into paper, which is like this, I believe. And I only need to turn three to make a book. And then I need an ink sack to make a recipe book. So like that, shapeless recipe. There, I have a recipe book again. Now, to flip through it and find, okay, back this way. Looking for that green ore, the green ore. So it looks like I need an adamantanium ingot and then eight of these green ore to make these ingots. And then I can use them to make uh, tools. So right now the uh, the five that I have are kind of useless to me until I get a lot more. Uh, but good to know. Uh, I think that's pretty much it in terms of recipes. I think, yeah, I, I and then that was the only really new ore I found was that green ore. And then some, found some diamonds, some iron. I'll probably trade some of this uh, iron to the town. I'm not sure how much. But I would like to give them some more so that they have um, more materials as well. I would like more of their money to probably buy a town wand and maybe stick another town like over there somewhere maybe. Just to have another town operating in the same area. I think that's everything though. So I'm going to head into the nether. Um, I'm going to go put back my weather clock though. And then I'm going to work on the ship. Uh, let's put that back in there. I do eventually plan to replace that chest with a shelf so I don't have to take the watch out. I, I, I am hearing that comment and I, you know, I'm listening. I just haven't got around to gathering any more logs. I'm actually out of wood completely because I kept losing it. I kept, uh, it took a lot of work to get this nether area set up because I kept getting shot at by ghasts. And yeah, it was just, it was very difficult, but I eventually got it. All set up and so if I step back here we now have the sort of shuttle bay for lack of a better word um, as you can see ghasts don't like it uh, I did use the ship to go down and basically uh, it was, I basically went down in the ship lowered down to about there and then started building down from from the top until I reached about there then I start building a walkway and I basically built a walkway all the way all the way around then filled it all in and this is to help with the ghasts firing with this wall here it makes it so that it's a little harder for them to see me obviously as you've seen they can still shoot at me but uh, it, it, it helps block them a little bit also when I was digging this all out this about here was all all nether rack uh, but I was digging out and I found this chest and I basically removed the heart piece and the meat and brought it through the portal because I was afraid the ghasts were going to blow it up on me. Otherwise I would have left it here uh, so that you guys could see because yeah as you can the, what, all the patch jobs I did with cobblestone so they yeah it just they, they did a lot of shooting it was very very difficult to get it all all patched up. I need to bring more torches in here because it is fairly dark in some locations. Stop shooting at me. Uh, so right next, I wanted to work on the actual uh, vessel. Oh, coming. So in here, uh, let's see. I wanted to fix this up a bit. So first off, the ship will have two components. It will have. It's not where I wanted to put that. Uh, it will have. Really, I'm kind of just to give the sort of design. I, when I was flying around with this, especially when I was editing it, what it really felt like to me was it felt like uh, like a shuttle mission, like super nerd on you guys here now, but it felt very much like Star Trek. It was sort of like, you know, I was in the shuttle flying around, so I thought I'd make this a little more shuttle-like um, just to help with that idea. They're blowing up the roof, which is awful of them. So I thought I could bring out this section and make it a little longer. That's part of the reason why I made this a lot bigger so that I could make the ship like uh, this is the reason why I made this whole room a lot bigger so I could make the ship bigger and still have an easier time sort of landing it and whatnot. Not really landing, more docking because it's quite big. And then I was thinking that this whole section could be made of glass 
And what the, what I like about this design is this way I can have a glass section to help me look around and get my bearings. But uh, also if the gas do happen to shoot at me, like if I wander outside and then I'm gathering some ore and they decide to shoot at me and it hits the glass by mistake, I can still get back up here using the safer part in here. Uh, probably shouldn't have put the glass down yet though because they're still going to be firing at me while I set this up and they could probably break it, but that's fine. Um, I'm thinking I might actually want this whole thing to be glass. I don't even know if I want this one layer of cobblestone. For now I'll put it in and then I may change it after. Uh, and then I'm thinking maybe something like this. And then piece there. Yeah. And then I want to remove these pieces. I'll get rid of this completely, this path back. I'll get that one later when I return. Like so. And then close off this wall. Okay, and then... Uh, let's see, how do I want to set this up? Okay, so this one here is currently broken. Uh, I'm gonna do that so that I can bust this one. I had died with the ship active and that sort of broke this one again like in the last part. Okay, so there we've got this here. That's our steering wheel. I think, oh, I don't want this uh, completely sheltered in though. And then I think I can remove this here roof and replace it with glass just to help with the view a little well no I want this to be safe so I'm gonna keep this area fairly well uh, like gas proof okay and then remove these torches fill that area in and then fill this in okay and then the other thing is I wanted to try throwing down a trap door, which will be broken during flight, but when I actually go to land, it'll operate correctly, and then remove this piece and put a ladder down, and this can be sort of my way of getting to ore that might be somewhere, like, down around or whatever. Uh, only thing is, I feel like, uh, I have to break some stuff here. I kind of want there to be a back to this, so do that like so yeah and then throw glass here okay couple blind spots but that's fine and then finish on the glass area out here I got a lot of glass too I have another stack in case I need more and then I can build up some more this way some more here and then just put in the last couple pieces okay it's good I think I'm happy with that the only thing is I might want a glass floor in a couple spots like here oh just so I can get a view of what's going on I might want this to all be glass actually, but see then there's the fear that they might take a stray shot at me and then might blow up the floor and I'll fall to my death. Ah, let's let's go with this. Okay, so descending. Taking the the shuttle out. See they're firing at me. Why are they Oh shoot. This isn't gonna work. Yeah, they, they can, when I'm moving, oh, oh, when I'm moving, it's like I'm not in the ship at all, so they can see me, I guess, but the upside is when I'm moving, the ship is invulnerable, so they can't break the glass anyways, but when I do stop, I will be uh, kind of, I won't be able to, like, the, it basically when I turn the ship back to normal, 